everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the end of a new beginning mod. Uh, set in the 1800s, uh, again, continuing where we left off, uh, wolf packs indeed existing. <laughs> um, I've also just started up a new navy uh, before we get into everything, but um, yeah, no, when we last episode, we ate China. Uh, we're planning on Nepal and Siam, uh, Afghan and then Canada, uh, but yeah. I've just started a new navy, so obviously the rule was whenever it gets to 55, we move them into a slot. Because obviously we can only fill up the regions around the homeland because we can't cross the ocean, okay? So we've got Navy 1, Home Coastal Fleet, which is made up of 55 destroyers slash frigates, the 1856 model frigate. Up here, we've got Chinese Defense Fleet, and this is made up of frigates uh, of the ironclad kind and frigates of the 1856 model frigate. And we're also building up this new navy, just spawned in. Made out of a battleship system of the 1861 model monitor ship. And we've only just got them in. We've only just got them in and uh, we've only just researched them. And I read the description of it and I quite liked it. So, declared war. Whoa, 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 whoa. As I go to read a description, everything goes to hell. Oh my god. All right. Prussia declared war on Denmark. It's happening. World war. Go, Prussia, my child. Eat Denmark. Uh, improved percussion cap. Uh... We'll do lighter designs. Beautiful. Okay. But anyway, uh, where were we? Ah, yes. Story time. So, the 1861. Really? Palmerston, go away. There we go. 1861 model monitor ship. So, if it were to let me read the description here. So, the 1861 model monitor ship, the largest capital ship with the biggest guns and strongest armor that money can buy. Such an expensive investment deserves proper support of smaller screening strips. So, that being the case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build an, a navy of, say, 30 to 40 of 80, uh, 61 model monitors. And then I'm going to do mod uh, model gunboats to support it. Um, and then maybe bang in an ironclad or a sloop of war. I don't know just yet. Uh, but I feel like this this next navy I'm building up is going to be my biggest navy I've got. Um, it's going to be the Indian Defense Fleet. There we go. And everything's going to be redirected to that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to square them out to the patrol. Um, yeah, they're going to be on patrol in the western approaches. And doing so... I will also change all of these to go to the Indian Defence Fleet. There we go. So we've got the Indian Defence Fleet that eventually will be displayed here. We've got the Chinese Defence Fleet will be displayed here. And then we're going to have, obviously, Defence Fleets from other locations. After all, we are Britain. We must have the most powerful navy and empire. It's just the way things work. Uh, moving on to technology. 1864 uniform. Yes, please. Let's get silky. Let's get sexy. Uh, yep, yeah, deploy my line infantry and my grenadiers. So, you guys rally up. As you can see, I've also got new generals because I ran out of them. Uh, and they both look the same. This guy's called Hubert Goff. So, obviously, in, 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 in true fashion, uh, Van Goff's lost brother. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to. Uh, and then over here, we've got Russell Madden. Uh, so we're going to say... Madden NFL, 2K18, why not? You had to, I had to. It's just something that had to be done. Um, nice old tactics, super. Look at that, beautiful. We're absolutely just running through this for fun. Um, I'm going to send Madden, I'm going to send to Rosyth, or Rosyth first. There we go. I'm going to send him down here to Gibraltar. Once you're lined up, get geared up. I want you to. I want to see if you're ready to take on the Spanish. Because if we take the Spanish, it's going to be a bloody war. Like there's going to be Cuba involved. There's going to be uh, a little bit of Africa involved, uh, and then obviously the Philippines. So it's going to be a global war if we go against Spain. Uh, also, single Enfield handguns. No. Ah, there we go. Cavalry reconnaissance. Good. Beautiful. Get that done. Uh, so that's you done, and then you, Van Gogh's brother. I actually want to send you down here. Now, I'm going to have two armies here. Actually, no, I'm only going to need one, aren't I? It's not like Bo uh, uh, Bo Bo Bolivarian Venezuela is going to be, you know, ooh, scary. You know, I mean, how many divisions are they rocking? Just actually, see. Zero. They're, 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 they're rocking zero. Yeah, I don't think they're anything to be scared of, uh, to, to, to say the least. Uh, so we've got the Indians in Canada. We've got the armies in, nor uh, in, in North... North South America. Yeah, that's confusing. Uh, an army in Gibraltar. A bunch in Asia. 
I think we're good to go. It's we're rocking, we're rocking and rolling. It's happy days. Can't complain. So 12th of July and the 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 so a month apart, not too bad at all. Can't really complain. Uh, again, once we finish this, uh, 1864 uniform, super. Yeah, let's replace that straight off the bat. Beautiful. Uh, and then go straight into camouflage principles. No, no flexible mounts. No. I want a, uh, standardized handguns though. Anything that adds to the soft attack, we just need to get on top of that. Um, but yeah, after this war, what we're going to do, we're going to head straight on over and we're going to do is Afghan and then Canada. Um, and then after that, we'll look at the US and say Venezuela. Just just start adding the pieces slowly together. I mean, I know I keep dipping and dabbing because I'm a bit of a, a, a scatterbrain. Um, and I know I need to declare war on, on certain people before we do go that far away. But I'm ambitious. I'm hungry. Just let me eat what I deserve. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of war in this series. It's just a matter of waiting for war to happen because ultimately... It takes a long, old, oh, blooming time to actually get around to, to, to declaring war. Because it's just so long. Like, it takes 500 days to declare war. It's madness. And then between that 500 days, it's not like I'm doing anything special. Like, I can't really focus, do the focus tree. So if I focus, do the focus tree, India gets released. And that's the last thing that I want right now. I want all of my territory. I don't want it scattered around to what I can and can't have just to follow a focus tree. Uh, and then research, most of it's out of date. Like, most of it's ahead of time. Like, I'm having to fight against it. Justification for Nepal is done. Okay, right, well, declare war. Super. In you go. Get that done. Right, that should be done in no time. There we go, Nepal done. Right, so what we said we were going to do with Nepal... Really? You're going to make me take all the states? I want to puppet them. All right, okay, well, apparently I can't take Nepal, so uh, I'll take all states. Well, that was a little bit meh. That's what I was expecting. Uh, come to Vietnam. Super. Yeah, national focus tree. I can't do anything with you, so there's no point showing me anything. I don't want to do anything with you just yet. Uh, yeah, bang it on the uniforms. I want as much work going towards uniforms as possible. Um, just get everyone up to a standard here of five in a row. That way we're not falling behind and everything's still good. I mean, hey, transport planes in 1864. No wonder Brit Britain's winning. You know, we're, we're ahead of time. We're ahead of our era. It's almost like we're from the future. Ooh. <laughs> right, everyone's moving. Well, I suppose Bhutan's next at some point. But it's such a cute little country. Look at it. It's so cute. Yee. <laughs> I might just keep Bhutan as a pet. That sounds horrible to say, but I might just keep Bhutan around as my little pet. Siam's over. Cool. Declare war. So it was uh, orange and purple, wasn't it? So it'd be you two, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, well, eat Siam for me. Oh, blimey, Nora, that was quick. It's like choking a piece of, it's like chucking a piece of meat. Just into a pool of piranhas. It's gone within seconds. Wowzer. Right. Um, okay. Afghanistan. Right. 530 days. And Canada. 500 days. Okay. So it's going to be Canada first. Beautiful. Uh, I don't really want to touch anything. I can't really touch anything else. So if I touch any of this, I just shoot myself in the foot because it's all about consumer fa uh, things and my factories are terrible and my knowledge on consumer stuff is terrible. So it's best I leave it alone. I've only got one guy there as well and it's just going to bring me negativity, so what's the point? Um, Albert Fisher. Do I have to put Fisher in charge to have the Borsini event pop? Is that what's going to happen? Is that what I'm missing here? Because I'm not going to lie. I'm bloody confused. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Canada knows we're coming, but are they going to build up? No, they've got nothing. They've literally got nothing. No Navy, no Air Force, no... F obviously no Air Force, but no Navy, no Army, nothing. Absolute nudder. I'd expect a little something, but evidently no. Right, let's have a look at the battle plan. Uh, can I select the battle plan? Uh, I just want to... There we go. Right, okay. So you're going to go all the way through. Take the capital push it all in and just sort of just okay fair enough 
I don't know if I want to give... I might send a second army out there. Um, I kind of need to get some of my other armies bolted up. Uh, but Van Gogh's lost brother and Madam NFL are just sort of sitting there. You know what? I'm going to send one of my armies here. So, uh, you... I want you to line up. Just go pay Batana a visit. Go pay Batana a visit. And then you, Patrick Grant... Uh... Come to Bangkok really quick. Everyone everyone for that army, just come down to Bangkok. I'm going to send them out to uh, Canada to help with the invasion. But it's simply on the basis of the Indians are going to do the biggest push. Whereas everyone else is sort of just going to... Eh, if that makes sense. Like, if I move them over to Canada now. Over to Labrador. I'm going to set them this border. But instead of pushing, I want them to cover all the lost ground. That could well, well, you know, as as openly said, could be lost from the main objective. So, that's the battle plan. Get them in. By the time they get there and everything's organised, upgrades should be at an all-time high. You know, uh, I'd imagine the infrastructure would be all the way down to Abu Dhabi, maybe, potentially, hopefully, when the war for Canada goes. Uh, and that means, obviously, once that's sorted, we can think about doing uh, the, the Arab Peninsula. Uh, speaking of which, have I done... Yeah, so I've... Yeah, good. Okay, so hopefully I've done Newfoundland and Labrador, meaning that this is all just left. Let's have a look. Yeah, so that's absolute top-notch. Anti-air is not needed. Airbase not needed. Mentary factory, civvy factory, naval dockyard, synthetic. Okay. But I need to get a good supply of navy in. Yeah. That's one thing that needs to start getting done. Naval supply. If we need to be this to be at an all-time high, so just max out everywhere that has... A port, I want it at its highest because supply is key. If we haven't got supply, what's the point? Superb. Gibraltar, how are you? Ah, let's make you... You know what? Gibraltar, Malta, get it all done. Super. Just get it all done. India, yeah, get that supplied right up. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to press play as I do this as well so, I just, so I'm not wasting time. I just want to do something, so to speak. Uh, I'm going to add another one down here as well. Uh, Hong Kong, definitely. Right, yeah, let's improve on what's already here. Oh, okay, right, that's been done. Uh, I'll select that now really quick. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, that's the last one. Okay, infiltration in depth. Beautiful. And then wait three more days, and then we've got combined operations raiding. Thank you. And then seven more days for the other one. Super. Right, and I'm going to get them to finish the... Uh, the naval tree, uh, the naval uh, doctrine. Because so there's not much left to do. There's genuinely not much left at all. There we go. Just these two, and then one more. So three more in total. There's not much left. Uh, yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, back to life, back to reality. There we go. Um, I want to say that's everything, but I'm not so sure. Yeah. Get all the little islands sorted. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. I completely forgot. South Africa. Right. What's this? Oh, it's already done. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Have I got the Falklands at this point? I do indeed. Look at that. <laughs> completely forgot about my darling Falklands. Right. Let's uh, do Africa. Uh, again, press player. Keep pausing, which is not good. Beautiful. Um, I think that's it for my Africa. How are we doing South America? Yeah, get South America completely done. Beautiful. We're doing fairly well. We're doing fairly well. I'm happy with how this is turning out. Leeward Islands, Jamaica, Bahamas. Bloody hell, the whole of the Bahamas is just completely rigged with ports. Uh, Bermuda, of course. And I think we're done. Oh, no, Belize. Can't forget Belize. Belize is very important. Very good location as well. Um, outdated equipment. What's outdated? What's outdated? Ah, rifle. Again. Yeah, upgrades is very key, as you can tell. Um, 447. No, no, no. Right, cavalry supplies. Let's get that done. I'm kind of frustrated that there's not much going on. I mean, all of the tension is caused by me, apart from 0.5%. That's France declaring war on both Mexico and France. Really, you're at war with Vietnam and Mexico and you're doing nothing about it. Really? Really? France, equip the Suez Canal. You've got the Suez Canal? Finalise the Suez Canal. 
Oh, baby, France, you do that and you'll be my new best friend. Alright, okay. Well, um... Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I've got so many cool things going inside my head right now, but I don't know how realistic they are in enacting them. Uh, speaking of wars and such... 30th of November and 30th of December. <laughs> they are this year, aren't they? Please tell me they're 35 and, uh, 65 and not 66. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Right, okay. Everyone's good. Um, you guys stop exercising. You're both at good standard. Super. Right. It's nearly time. It's nearly time for war. Cavalry supplies, super, thank you. Right, what's next? No, 988-444-716-444-967, semi-automatic rifle. Uh, yeah, and look, the cool thing about this is you can actually fast forward all the way to modern day. All the way to modern day, if need be. Uh, 600 year, uh, years ahead. Right, heavier de designs for artillery and stuff. Let's get moving. Let's get working on it. You know what? I'm going to Russia. We're going to eat Afghan. We're going to eat Canada. And then, when that is done, ladies and gentlemen, we're going for the beast. We're going for Victoria's cousin, Nicholas. I think Nicholas II was a cousin. I'm pretty sure Nicholas was a cousin. Bloody hell, I wouldn't be surprised if everyone's bloody cousins. It's more incest than Game of Thrones. <laughs> but... Um, I think what I'm going to do is um, we're going to go after Russia. We're going to try and hit Russia right in the panties. Right in the rear. Yeah. Afghan. No. We're going to eat Afghan. We're going to eat Canada. Then we're going to do Russia and Oman. Then Yemen and Arabia. Then Iran and, say, Venezuela. Then... The Ottomans and Sweden. Yeah, I've got this planned out. I know what I'm doing. Although, the the the, the way I was saying it was going to happen may change, but I know how I want to go about this. This is good. This is very, very good. I like this. This is a very good mod. It's a very good mod. Needs a bit of work, but it's very good. I like it. Oh, right. We've got gunboats and stuff. Yeah, let's get to it. Modern Navy and all that. Right, okay. Indian Defence Fleet, how are we doing? Wow! We are absolutely building! <laughs> Seymour! You are building a goddamn good navy, sir. Right, okay, so we haven't got much longer to wait, which is fairly good. Nearly, nearly done. So, um, yeah, so heavier designs... Uh, how are we doing here? 741's too far ahead. Siege gun, superb. Get on that. 30 days of infiltration in depth. Once that's done, we should be good to move on to the rest of that artillery section. Uh, and I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, I just want to get this war with Canada done. I, I, I just want Canada and... Um, Canada and Afghanistan done. So I can start planning on uh, Russia and Arabia. That's what I want done here. Well, no, 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 not Russia and Arabia. Sorry, Russia and Oman. I'm losing my head. I'm genuinely losing my head. I can't focus. I can't focus on this for some reason. Absolutely losing my mind. Uh, upgrades are still lacking, but they'll eventually get there. Eventually. I'm not building any more divisions just yet, so we should be good. Uh, infiltration in depth, superb. Now come here, go to the artillery tab. Now going down here to studded shells. Boom. Good. So the artillery's getting done. Uh, it was uh, November, 30th of November for you and 13th of, of December for Afghanistan, wasn't it? I believe so. Uh, Russia's just boosting relations with Morocco and the Orange Free State. Keeping it that well, 100 ships is very, very good. 100 ships is very, very good. Um, I think they might... Russia's going to be quite a challenge when it comes down to naval. Everyone's going to be a challenge when it comes down to naval, actually. Everyone's bulking the navy up. They know who the real world power is. They ain't playing around. Right, so a couple more months. I've I've managed to blab non-stop for 
a, a year now. I, I'm, it's nearly time where I can be quiet and focus on a war. <laughs> right, okay. So, yeah, that's nearly done. 20 days for the siege gun, which is good. Still can't do it because of Barsini. Freaking Orsini. God damn it. Who's Orsini? The Orsini Affair. So it's the Orsini Affair or the Orsini Affair reaction. Which hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. It's just, nah. It's not there. So would I have to turn communist for it to happen? Like, what have I got to do for this to trigger? Model gunboat. Yeah. i leave that be for now. Siege gun. Right, I can replace that. Superb. Siege gun. Beautiful. 95 days for sta staged rockets. Yo, okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. I've got, I've got rockets. I've got rockets in 1865. Wow. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay. Um, super. Right, okay. So, next month we go to war with Canada. So, get the troops ready for that. So, it'll be you and you. So, Big Beard and Mustache. That's a good way to remember the names. <laughs> For 2,000 political power. Happy days. No complaints there, really. Um, studded shells have been done. Super duper. Build gun can't do. Demolition can't do. That's maxed out. Uh, can't do tank. Can't do any of these. I, nah, it's too far ahead. Let's drop back a bit. Okay, 3-6, 8-6, 3-6, 6-3. 906. God, Christ almighty. Uh, can't work on air. How about factory-based stuff? 100... Whoa! I can get a lot done. Or fair enough. A fair amount done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tool grade materials. Yeah, let's start working on that next. Definitely. Okay, so 25 more days and Canada will be speaking... Oh, what will be speaking? What? No, she already speaks English. We'll be under the UK flag once again. Unfortunately, I would puppet, but for some reason it hasn't given me the option. I'll see if I can't turn it into a uh, puppet uh, after. Um, and if I can, then I will. I, I might do it, but in the end I might just eat it whole anyway. Uh, just so I can use its borders so I can get involved with the US. Because James Buchanan, I don't like his hair. And everyone needs to know, if you ain't got good hair, you can't survive. In, in the imperialistic age. Oh, no, no, no. Right. Well, you're both good to go. Charge, my young ones. Charge. Immediately. Let's go. <laughs> are you actually moving? Yes, they are moving. They're taking a sweet time, though. I mean, I get it. I get Canada's cold, but come on, guys. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, we're also going here, doing them tools, too. Super. Hey, making progress is fun. Look at that. Finally. Right, well, I'm just going to zoom out and uh, let this happen. Uh, we also need to focus on Afghanistan, which is about to trigger fairly, fairly soon. So the two parties are going to be you two. Victoria's Victorious and George Brown, James Brown. Um, we'll be triggering now. Beautiful. Wait, French Empire declared war on Prussia. Yo, things just got interesting. Okay, this mod is starting to pipe itself up a bit. All right, okay, well, there we go. Afghanistan... Joy, okay. Vietnam is now part of the German Confederation. Uh, uh, okay. that That's a thing now. So we're now focusing on Afghanistan and Canada at the same time. Let it all happen. Just let it happen. I want to... In a minute, I want to zoom in and see how the Prussian-French war is going. Because the German Confederation united against France. Now that's tasty. All right, okay. Afghanistan take all states. Superb. Right. I'm going to wait for this war with Canada to be over before I do anything. Actually, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to... Hold on. 400 days. Ooh, 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 ooh. 400 days. Boom. Done. Done. It's done. It's been done. It's done. <laughs> Did I say it yet? It's done. Right, so you guys go there. You guys go there. Right, so I want you to do little steps for each part. Beautiful. Obviously, the other armies will have to push the main parts. Uh, you, I want you to pull away from Little Bataan. Uh, I want you to come here. 
So I want you to have your own little thing going like that. Superb. Now, Russia isn't going to be a walk in a pie. I just regret my decisions. I regret my life decisions. There we go. Right, okay. Just press play and we'll do it whilst it's playing along. Right, you go there. Rus like I was saying, Russia is not going to be a walk in the park. Um, so we're really going to need to push bit by bit with them. And I'm not going to have them on aggressive. Because I don't think my troops have what it takes to, you know, eat Russia on aggressive. Because they just damage themselves far too much. Like that. Superb. Uh, Madden NFL, you need to come out of Gibraltar. Yep. Yeah, no, come out of Gibraltar. Not... There we go. Right, okay. Right, time you see some action. I want you to come over to uh, China. There we go. And then your new order is going to be from like that. Superb. Right, new monitor ship, which is good. There we go. So now that's your battle order. I want to sit back from a distance and watch, see how it's going to pan out. Because I want to see if they're going to go all the way over. Um, come on, just a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, it's going to pan all the way across. Good, that's what I want. And then hopefully by the time we declare that war... Um, there we go, just replace the rest with that. Um... Yeah, hopefully by the time we do that, we'll also have Canada so we can push all the way in to uh, Alaska, or as the Russians call it, Aleska, or Aleska. Uh, how are we doing here? Okay, so it's a stalemate, it seems, because the German Confederation hasn't been called in, which is surprisingly, because normally everyone just calls everyone in. Um, all right, no problem. Is what it is. Uh, 314. Yeah, I'm going to go for the 314s, I think. No, you know what? Finish the ships first. Navy's our priority. Okay, so that's the Afghan war finished. Just need to get this done. You really are dilly-dallying, aren't you? Come on. Pull your thumb out your rear. Let's go. Come on, take Ottawa. There we go. Take the major states. Take all the major states. Right, give me a city. What's that? Win Winnipeg? Right. Winnipeg? More like winner dead. Let's go. Right, what else we've we got? What else we've we got? We've got Vancouver over here. Uh, Vancouver Island. Is there any other places around? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Right, okay, you. Go get me Vancouver. I want Vancouver. Vancouver's nice. Let's keep pushing. Province of Canada, join the... Are you... Okay, so Canada's now part of the German Confederation. And I'm at war. With the German Confederation, which means I'm now technically on the same side of France, which is emotionally confusing. Oh, God. Uh, well, this has got out of hand rather quickly. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Cool off Russia. Just cool off Russia. It's happening. Right. Did I did I claim on Oman? Yeah, I'm declaring on Oman. Um, cancel all of this. Just cancel it all. Because this is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's time for something to get done. Germany, Germany, Germany. The region of Germania. The German Confederation. You did the worst thing you could possibly do. And that's pick me as an enemy. You picked the British Empire as an enemy. You dumb son of a gun. Oh, dearie me. Chinese defense fleet. Search and destroy. Go. Beautiful. Home coastal fleet. Search and destroy. Beautiful. Indian defense fleet. Convoy raiding in the Bay of Biscay and the Iberian coast. Go. Province of Canada. Yeah, well, that can go. Right, get rid of that, please. Come on, let's get rid of Canada as quick as possible. Superb. Take the major states. I, I don't see any other cities, really. I think most of it's just wasteland, he says. 
Who's that? Edmont Ed Edmonton. Right, go take Edmonton. Beautiful. Right, the capital's now Vancouver. Vancouver's going to go fairly soon anyway. Um, I'm going to need to think about how I'm supposed to get here. If I can naval invade this, that, and the other. If I can, it's going to be next episode and the episode after are going to be very, very tasty. Hanover are rocking up to 51 troops. Two. 157. What am I rocking? 192. Yeah. Next episode is going to be very tasty. In between episode, I'm going to do a lot of math. Uh, but till then, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to, of course, click that like button. And I'll see you guys. Oh, yes. Hold on. Wait, let me finish the job. Let me quickly just finish the job here in Vietnam. Wait, hold on. Let me, it, just, just, just let me, 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 let me. Let me do it. Uh, yeah, it's wait, 296, whatever. Come on, look at that. Just let it happen. Let it happen. Embrace it. It's going to happen. <laughs> ah, it's brilliant. Absolutely bloody brilliant. Look at it. Just look at it. Come on, just capitulate already. Really going to make me go to the Saigon? Ah, God damn it! I'll finish this between episodes. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I've been Anglo. You've been you. Have a good one, guys. And later. <laughs>